Hello and welcome to e-learning campus. Children, in today's class, we will learn about file management and data organization. So, we have learned that whatever we do on a computer, we basically work on data. Whatever we save in the computer, like documents or songs or images, presentation or Excel sheets, all are called files. And all the files that belong to the same category can be grouped or saved in a folder. Right. So, all the, uh, also, uh, the data in a computer can be arranged in the form of files or in the form of folders. Children, Windows Explorer help us to organize and manage files and folders. So, let's start with moving or copying a file or folder from one drive to another drive. So, here we have two options. First option, we can click on our Windows button and here we just need to type Windows Explorer or File Explorer and we can see this type of File Explorer icon here and we can click on it and we can uh, and we can see one uh, dialog box or we can see one uh, other window will open uh, with the name of File Explorer. Other than this File Explorer, we have one small icon in the task bar where we can see the start button in the save bar we can see one folder icon so we can click on that folder icon and we can open our folder like this okay now children here you can see first we will learn how to copy or how to move a data from one drive to another drive here children moving a file or folder means shifting it from its original location or the source location to another location okay so from where we are copying that location is known as source location and where we are pasting that particular file that file or uh, that location is known as destination location so wherever copying a file or folder means to create a duplicate copy of the selected file or folder so here you can see children I have opened a random folder logic 6 and here you can see this PC. So just click on this, this PC and you can see I have only two partition in my drive. Okay, uh, we all have drive, uh, you have a hard disk or uh, SSD drives, right? So here I have only two portions in my drive, disk drive. So C and G. Uh, let me open D drive, I am double clicking on it and here you can see I have few folders and a file here. So what we can do children, let me click on this down arrow. Here you can see a clipboard. Okay, so whenever we click on a file children, you can see the moment I have clicked on this file, the copy option and the cut option is enabled now. So either you can use this copy or cut option. There is a certain difference between copy and cut children. Copy means you are making a duplicate copy of that file and you will paste the file in the other location also but this file will remain the same in this folder but if you will do cut then this file will move from this fol this folder or this drive to the another drive i'll show you either we can use this copy or cut from the clipboard or we can do right click on the file and here also you can see cut and copy option i'll show you copy first so i am clicking on copy and now this pc i am opening c drive and here i am clicking on paste okay give me a minute Okay, so here you can see the same file has been copied here. Now I'll show you that read uh, D drive. See, the file is here also and the file is here also. That means it is creating a duplicate copy of itself. Now let me delete and I'll show you one more time. Here, now I am going to D drive. Children, now I am trying to cut it okay now i'll cut and paste the same thing in the c drive so initially i have done copy so copy means it is creating a duplicate copy now i am right clicking on it and click on cut 
I'm going on the other drive, drive C here, right click and paste. See children, here you can see the file is pasted here in the C drive. Now let's check in D drive. See, it's removed from here. Okay, so if you will do cut, means it will, it will remove the copy from the source location and it will paste it in the destination location only. Okay, so only one copy is there for the same file if you will use cut and if you will copy, it will create a duplicate copy of the same file in the same way like we did for the file in the same way we can do for a folder also i'll show you how we can cut or copy the folder either you can use copy or you can use cut okay here also uh, when you click here here you can see in the clipboard copy and copy and cut option you can use it from here also now i'm using the same i'm cutting it from here and Pasting it again in the C drive. See, so now here you can see it is moving here in the C drive children. Okay, so what I have done, I have cut one folder from the D drive and paste it into the C drive. So again, I am telling you the same thing. Copy means creating a duplicate copy and moving means it will move from the one location or the source location and paste it or move it to the uh, uh, to the destination location okay so this is how we can copy and move the folder from one drive to another drive now children i will show you how we can copy uh, or how we can move one file from our desktop or from one device to another device here you can see usb drive e i have attached let me show you here this pc initially we can see c and d now i have attached my pen drive here okay so my pen drive name you can see usb drive e okay so this is my pen drive now what i want now i want that a uh, a file that I have pasted here first this is my file so what I want I want to copy that file from here to the pen drive so I am right clicking on it either you can use from clipboard or you can uh, just right click on it and cut or copy initially I am doing copy so copy this from here clicking on USB drive E from the same uh, panel and just right click here and click paste See, the same file is here. Now, because I have done copy here, so the same uh, file I can see here also and in my USB drive also. Now, I will show you cut from one device to another device. In the same way, if you want to move something from one device to another, means if you want to delete something from our device and uh, copy it to the other device, so what you need to do? Right click on it, click cut and go to the drive and paste it see like this now it is moving here you can see here moving nine items okay so uh, let it uh, complete in the same way children if you want to copy something from your device from your pen drive to your system the same way you need to follow so here you can see i have world world climate zone in the usb drive okay here you can see usb drive e now i want to copy it from here copy and i want to paste it into the downloads now i will go to the downloads and right click give me a minute and paste it here okay so the same file will come here in my drive also so in the same way children we can copy or cut any file from one device to another device wait a minute okay so here you can see here at the bottom we can see the same file let me sort the data date modified
okay so this is how we can change it or uh, children if we want to search any file okay if you want to search any file from here for example i have pasted here world climate zone but now i am not able to find that file here so what i can do here you can see search download option okay so here you can type world and click here okay now see i can see all the files see this is my file world climate zone so in this way children is very easy to search any file in our drive i'll show you how we can find a file how we can search a file in our d drive also or in our c drive also let me try in this pc okay in this pc means wherever in my pc if certain file is there i can search it so here search box is here children so let me search for logics okay so i just put logics here you can see a drop down list is here already so let me click on this arrow and see children wherever uh, the file name is logics all the files and folders i can see here with the drive name also okay so because my pen drive is also attached here so i can see here in e drive e drive and the logics file is available in c drive also so i can see the logics here also so in this way we can search any file from uh, any file or folder from our device okay now there are few more options available to search a file okay i'll show you may stop searching here okay now children for example you want to search something with uh, uh, for example you want to search any ppt okay any ppt so what we can do we have two options even we can use star or we can use question mark these star and question marks are known as wild card character okay star means uh in place of any string you just need to put star and it will provide you all the available files for example i am putting here star dot pptx okay now let me put it on the search now uh, here children what i have done i have done star dot ppt dot uh, tx okay pptx pptx means all the files with the extension pptx uh, i'll get here in the same window okay it is taking time let me make it easier give me a minute okay so here we can see lots of files are here so now i am putting here dot pptx and i am clicking on search now here children you can see all the presentation files i can see here okay all the files with the extension dot pptx i can search here in the same way children in uh, any of the um, any of for any of the folder if you want to search any pdf file if you want to search any document if you want to search any ppt file so you can search it very easily with the wildcard character star you just need to put star dot and pdf now it will search all the pdf in this folder so in this pd in this folder all these pdfs are available so i can see all these uh, P pdfs are here okay in the same way children question mark okay question mark means you can replace that question mark with one single character okay give me a minute so for example i want to search i want to search ch question mark all files with ch and question mark here now see children here all the files that i have ch dash and 
something is there after chn dash i can see all the files here so in this way it is very easy to search any file or any document with the help of wildcard characters also okay so here children we are done with uh, with the how we can search a file and how we can copy and move a file for copy and move children you can also use uh, shortcuts like control uh, control c for copy control x for cut and control v for paste if you will use this uh, shortcut these sh shortcuts will also work the same so i hope you understand all the things in today's class children in the next class we'll try to understand the different different file formats sorting of a file and working with multiple applications have a nice day thank you and if you like it Please share it with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you children.